Ahoy mates, if you have not heard, my channel is for late teens and adults. If you're under the age of 13, this channel and content is not for you. Now make sure to hit that subscribe button to help me overthrow the evil overlords known as the YouTube algorithm. It really helps me when you do that. Now. To the point of this video, it's the Curse Captain here, if you have not heard me already, with a video focused on proposals bringing some much needed quality of life changes to the end game for Sea of Thieves. I wanted to share some of my ideas giving us Pirate Legends of the Sea something to work towards and while we are at it I would love to see some meaning come back to what should be one of the greatest achievements in the game, becoming a Pirate Legend. Here is what I'm thinking. I remember back when he first set sail on the seas. Every single pirate was working towards the goal of becoming a pirate legend. It was something to be admired and for those who achieved it among us they were elevated to legendary status. But for those who have achieved pirate legend status. What do we do now? Obviously we could do Athena voyages, but let's be honest, those are just glorified regular voyages and we have just finished grinding those out. Plus, the question must be asked, what makes a pirate legend so special? The purple outfit? Obviously there has to be more for us. Something to work towards. Something to achieve. So here is what I'm thinking. When you achieve Pirate Legend status, my proposal would be you unlock your own personal hideout that you can customize and personalize. By achieving certain commendations, you can purchase certain expansions, hideout cosmetics, and so, so much more. Think for just a moment for those few pirates out there who have actually seen the Shrouded Ghost. First, I hate you, but secondly, what if you got to mount one of her tooths up on your hideout wall and show it off? This hideout would be a treasure room, your trophy room, and your personal space for you to relax in between all the plundering and looting you do. To expand this idea further, you'd be able to invite your crew to your hideout to rub it into their faces all of the achievements you've accomplished. This would also open up the opportunity for new mini games that can be played with your crew. Imagine inviting your crew to your hideout and you playing a bunch of card games at a table or dice or pirate roulette, if you know what I'm saying. If they ever added the ability to duel your crew, this would be a fitting place for duels to happen to settle your differences among your own crew and in your own hideout. Just imagine for a moment how amazing it would be to have your own personal hideout that you can personalize to showcase all of your great achievements within the game. I would also love to see your ship in the hideout so when you're ready to set sail and begin plundering, you could just jump on your ship and sail out of your hideout and into the seas. If I remember correctly, this was something that was promised by the devs a long, long time ago. Now in addition to the above idea, I would still love to see the ability to change the cosmetics of your ship to personalize your ship a little bit more and yes, please, rare. Give me black torn sails with no logo. Literally take the Athena sails and remove the logo and I will never ask again. Please! Okay, I'm getting off topic here, but seriously, give us ship cosmetics that go beyond just simple colors. When you go through the art book of the Sea of Thieves, you see so many amazing examples and ideas. I would be so pumped to see just a sliver of these implemented into the game. All of this would be locked behind the requirement to become a pirate legend, giving us once again legendary status in the seas. I would also love to see the expansion for curses that only pirate legends can unlock. A skeleton curse? You remember Wanda? Of course you do! Well I remember when her arm was turning into a skeleton. How awesome would it be if you could get the skeleton curse that turned your pirate into a half skeleton? You can make it in such a way where it is random for each pirate what parts are skeleton, what parts are pirate, and it would add some uniqueness to it too. The mermaid curse. Half mermaid, half pirate. This would be an awesome looking curse that I know so many people would love to see. Maybe make it a requirement for killing off those cursed mermaid statues, I don't know, I'm just throwing ideas out there. But my personal favorite and the one that I would love to see above all others would be the ferryman curse. Now this would be my personal favorite obviously because I'm the cursed captain of the seas. I would love to see a curse that makes your pirate look half dead, similar to how you look already on the ferry. Now what kind of curses would you like to see added to the game? Make sure 
sure to let me know in the comments below. And on top of all of this, we need a bounty system in the game. Seriously, give us bounties and give us the GMC, which is the modern day East India trading company. Allow some pirates to live out their dream as being murdering, plundering pirates, and let the others live their dreams of being merchants, and let's pit these pirates against each other. I made a video a while back on the concept of how a bounty system would work, and quite a few people in the comments have made some amazing suggestions to improve my original idea. The faster we get this added to the seas, the faster we see some amazing stories unfold. Anyways, anyways, here is just a few ideas that I've had bouncing around in this cursed captain's mind. What do you think? What do you think, if added, would bring life back to the endgame for Sea of Thieves? Let me know and let's talk about it.